<laughs> Hi. Hi, and welcome to 2024. I'm live. I've had a bit of time off. Um, time off doing this. But being busy with family and traveling and not too far, just up to Brisbane. And helping out and yeah, had COVID before Christmas, so that slowed things down a bit as well. I haven't done as many sample cards as I would have liked to, but we'll get into it tonight with the celebration and the new catalog. So let me know if you're joining in. Just go find my video. And that'd be great if let me know if you're crafting along with me. It's always fun to have people crafting together. See if I can hear me. <laughs> I think I can. It's a bit quiet over there, but I might have this volume turned down. Got my microphone here under me. Yep, that's all good. Good, right? <coughs> just checking, just checking. So who's got into the celebration? Now I forgot to flip my camera. Sorry about that. The so it'll be backwards for you probably. The celebration brochure and the new catalog are live. So I'll show you those on the table. If you don't have a demonstrator and you would like some catalogs, I'm happy to send some out to you. And if you want to go on my email list, let me know. Or you can go onto my blog actually and sign up there. It pops up on the screen when you open the blog. So we're just going to, I'll, I'll put it down onto the table so you can see the table. And we'll get on and do some crafting. So let me know if you're crafting along. That would be interesting to see. I'll just go up to the up to the sky. Actually, I was thinking I might show you how to shop, but maybe not today. If you need help shopping, just reach out and ask me. I'm happy to help. When you're doing the celebration items in the shopping cart, it comes up with, you go to the checkout to the next section, and then it shows you that you've got celebration items to choose from. And it shows you the $90 ones first. You need to click on, if you've spent more than $180, and you want to look at both. So you need to click on the little, I think it's a little drop arrow to drop down the 180 section as well. And that closes the 90 section. So you can flip back and forward between them so that you can choose your free products. So keep that in mind because that's really important. It tricked me at first and then I went, oh, hang on a minute. You can actually drop them down and open them. Might do a separate little video on that um, in the next week just to to make that a feature of shopping because <laughs> I forgot to flip my camera the right way. <laughs> All right, I'll just pop you up to the ceiling. Just a moment, please. And put it back down to come up a bit from the table. Make sure my microphone's not in the way. Up there. Make sure it's in there. Okay, so you can see my little glass sheet, glass mat there. That's this thing here. It's glass. And that is, I can open all my catalogues now because it's live to, to customers. In the back of your little, this is a little celebration one, there's a join offer. So you can get the glass mat. And I've done a separate video which is in my YouTube for this just using it and talking about it individually or you can choose to get an extra $51 if you join so when we talk about joining we, we call demonstrators once we join but don't be put off by that you can join as um, you know for, as for just for the discount if you like the products and you'll get 20% discount after your starter kit so you get to add everything to your starter kit in this section where you pay $169 here it all is here 169 AU and you get to either choose the mat or an extra $51 worth of products so that's a fantastic offer I do like it when they have these lovely good offers so once you've joined you can then put all those things in the starter kit what you want and then you can your next orders while you're still a current demonstrator for three months depending on when you join it could be longer and yeah you get the discount so you can grab some things that you like and and you can welcome to stay on and part of my team we're the busy bees and we just have a lot of fun creating together not you know we're not doing it all the time 
but we've got a good community going with um, the whole wider team as well and we've done a team retreat last year that went really well with a few of us and yeah it's just lots of fun and creating getting inspired and yeah, having somewhere to hang out when you want to create together so it's good so this is the mini catalog this is the celebration so the way it works mini catalog has just got products in it that you can purchase they're all online and if you're looking on the in in the online shop you'll just find the, the products if you click on the Stampin' Up! logo at the top of the uh, window when it all oh, it should open on the home page anyway and you can go into the menu and look for there's a thing called online exclusives which are not in catalogs if you want to view all you can do that if you want to go what's new you can click on that and it's got a an actual tab for new arrivals and it's got a tab for the mini catalog so if you just want to see what's in the mini catalog you can click on that one and that way that will show you what's in here the other way is to sort by newest and the newest things will come up but you'll find other things as well like kits there's a couple of new kits as well at the moment they're bringing two kits out a month which is great so I'll just have a quick little flick through here for you if you haven't seen this now the catalogs are available on as PDF as well online so you'll find them in the shop look at this I did a card where's my cards hang on <laughs> had them on the desk to show you what I do with them I did do some pictures into my page last or uh, whenever that was before Christmas or around Christmas yeah well, look I didn't even see that one when I did this so I've just done that with no sentiment and done a bit of masking in the background and yeah a bit of fun with that I did some of these things a bit of them when I did the glass map to you know showing you how to use the glass map I made a bit of this and a bit of that and then I added them in later the bee mine suite I love it because it's you know the busy bees we're the busy bees my team so it was really nice of them to bring out another bee <laughs> a bee focus hi Di oh I'm just making making a mess first I'm going to use some of the celebration paper in a minute and make something I'm not sure yet and get some celebration things up I was just having a quick flick through here so if you see anything that says bundle they're 10% off if you buy them bundled so this one with the bees comes with a, a stamp and a punch punch set and that's 10% off if you buy them together if you buy them individually you pay the full price okay so this is one of the hexagon bundles so that has that there's my punch this punch is in that in that and you will find that some of the celebration this celebration set coordinates with that punch so they've done some wonderful coordinating with their celebration so this shows you that you can use this punch I mean you can all use other things as well but they've actually done it so that it coordinates really nicely with that oh look I just noticed that that's one of the die cuts out of something <laughs> oh there's all these little bits and pieces look that's the ribbon from the my the be mine set so I just love the way everything coordinates across things so that's one of those I've got that one today so we'll have to use it won't we <laughs> I won't go through the whole catalogue now we've got all sorts of pieces in there but really lovely so we won't go through the whole catalogue if you would like to go through the catalogue together as a group sometime let me know I'm happy to do that and organize a zoom do something like that and I've got a little list here of what's in the celebration items it, it actually tells you in here what they coordinate with see coordinates with bright skies bundle so I've gone through on my list and put what they coordinate with I don't have all the things obviously I've just only got the ones I've marked there but the one I'm looking at tonight I'm going to look at the flight and airy which is a designer series paper so I will just show you this um, so if you go through the beginning of it so there's three ways to earn you can shop and earn or you can host and get your an additional oh that's good host a qualifying party and select an additional $50 worth of free products page 18 
So if you want to know more about that, you go to the back, page 18. And it says, when you host a party during celebration, you get the chance to spend time with the people you love and earn free products of your choice. With any order of at least $500, uh, you get to choose an additional $50 worth of products from our catalogue or online store for free. And then you've got your join offer as well. That's the other way to earn things. You've got this one, which is joining. So when you're shopping, once you've spent $90 or, you know, or multiples, so if you spend $180, you can choose two $90 things or you can choose one $180 product where it says free if you've spent $180. So if you spend more than that, it's the collective, you know, however many 90s fit into that. So I tend to shop working it out with my calculator. Um, so I get the best value for that. So they've got all these lovely things. This paper, this coordinates with another set, you know. This one coordinates with, I got the modern oval punch today too. So that one will cut out the watermelons. This is the paper I'm going to use tonight. Light and airy. And there's a little free stamp. I haven't got this one, Cradled in Love. That looks nice though, look. Little baby cards. That's just a great way to... Oh, the crinkle ribbon, I've got that. I bought that. Bought it. I got it for free. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous. Really pretty. Pool party colour. Mm -mm. See, they've used it on some little things here. The Softly Stippled Designer Series paper, which goes with that other set I was showing you before, the Softly Stippled, but I haven't actually used the paper yet. That was the Softly Stippled stamp set. And this folder here is one in the back. I'll get to that in a minute. So we've got some opaque faceted gems, which I don't have those either. Some more paper, most adored. That looks really cool. And I'm sure you can probably colour that in with your brushes too. And this page with the tools, trusty tools paper. And if so, basically, if you bought the trusty tools bundle for $96.25, you could then choose the paper for free. Oh, this one, this is so cute. I have cut out, where's my jungle pals? I did this one before I went away. I had fun with that too. I coloured that in with my blends. And I actually used the little flowers that came with the, the Be Mine suite and stuck them in the middle of the flowers. But what I've done there is I've used, there's a die in here, that tree. So I've cut out the tree on both sides. So it gave me uh, stalks for my flowers and branches for my trees. So I've kept the rest of it here. I just did a whole lot of stamping and punching and see I've, I've stamped all the animals on there and bits and pieces. So then I've got the tree still to do another card. Well, that will be another day. And I just did, yeah, I found that really good set. I, I mean, you can do that with any set, but I really got, got stuck into the die cutting and stamping and didn't really know what I was making to start with. And just kept going and I've got a whole lot ready for the next one. That was fun. And this one here, this comes together with a 180 spend and that's the, I showed this in my unboxing a little while ago. It's gorgeous, it's got like the little dots on it and it blends in really nicely with that. So I've had a bit of fun with them don't have that one but again this blends in with the pedal part builder punch so I haven't got that one so I haven't focused on it so that's the celebration that over there and we'll play are you crafting die there's my new host code for January if anyone's looking for it so I'll leave that I'll put it aside for now <laughs> I'll put it over here somewhere by the way a bit I've got all my bits and pieces here. 
Now these little corners do come off. I've just left them on there. These come out. They're just there to protect the edges. And I've just... I like the look of them. <laughs> so I left them on the table. Moved, moved everything out. It's all crooked. Oh no! So this is really cool. I was having a lot of fun with that the other day. But I've been using that to put my ink pads on when I'm stamping because it sort of holds them a bit. Right, so let's move that out of the way. I've got this gorgeous paper. I'm trying to tidy up. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> I've been trying to do that too. I had a bit of a... Since I got back on the weekend, I've, you know, it's been a busy time and everything, so I've been a bit tired. I'm trying to tidy up as well, so I have been cleaning up and looking at what sort of things I can move on and sell a few things as well. Just trying to get sorted, but today was a bit of a, you know, slow day. So I needed something to brighten me up tonight, so I found this and went, oh yes, that's gorgeous. So I'm waking up a bit <laughs> with this cute little birdies. Look at them. So I noticed in the brochure they've used a circle punch to cut out some of these. I'm not sure if we'll do that yet. We'll have a look and see. That's got this beautiful What's that pecan pie, I think it is? Mm, pecan pie on the back. So even if you don't have the colour card stock to go with it, you can still just use this on a plain white base as a background. If you, you know, something like that. I'll just have a quick look. See, that's gorgeous. The back of the, oh, that's that one. Okay. Turn them over. So each one has is double sided. I turned that one over already. Not somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere else. Hang on. It'll be here. There it is. Right, that was the first one. So that's really pretty. They're all really pretty. I just love them. This little watercolour look. And pick one and oh see you could use the blue on the back oh that's lovely like it's been painted hi Athena welcome just playing with this paper let's turn them all over so I can see what I've got and this one oh look at the back of that one oh ah that's the fresh freezer so I got a lot of card stocks out <laughs> they're sitting beside me on the desk and I thought, right, I'll get these all out and we'll decide which one. What will we do? And I thought if I use this stamp set for words, enjoy your day. Hello, that's nice. Oh, look, they've got Happy Mother's Day. Dad, you're the best. It's a pretty good one, that one. Oh, and of course, I haven't put my labels on, have I? I'm likely to use hello, I think. Not sure about the Happy Mother's Day yet. We've got a little way to go to then, haven't we? Alright, I'm going to just put these two on. We'll play with these two. Enjoy your day. How are you going, Athena? Are you doing any crafting? Are you tidying up as well? I started doing some more crochet while I was away because I thought I've got to use up my wool. <laughs> Get that yarn out of there. <laughs> Trying to move some things along and make some new things too. Alright, here's that one. We'll just get this one. Hello. Hello's always a nice little card, I think. Because you can send it for anything. Now if you're a demonstrator with Stampin' Up, you can go to their events called On Stage. And they've got a big one in March in Melbourne. So I have signed up to go to that. Looking forward to that. A few days and it'll be a big one. 
So if you're a demonstrator and you want to go, you've got to the, I think it's the end of January. Just sign up for that. Right, we've got hello. Actually, we might just leave that on there. And we'll put this one on here on my Busy Bees stamp. <laughs> the Busy Bees. Alright, we'll put that one away for now. Oh, this is the other thing I had out earlier in my unboxing. This beautiful. I actually wonder whether to use that tonight on one of these cards. Maybe we will. This is just gorgeous. Look at it. I love it. So I got that in my order today. So if you watched my unboxing earlier, or even if you didn't, <laughs> I just spent about, I think it, I did it as a customer order using my host code. So when you're shopping, you just put that host code in and it automatically links it to me. And then I only spent, I think it came to $101. So just enough to get my free, my free thing. This one, this one my $90 spend so I just went a little bit over 90 but of course that's when I say spend 90 that's before postage so postage is always added on so the spend amount is the product amount I'm thinking I'm wondering whether to do put this actually where's the fresh freezer one this one I think I'll do a bit of that on there Let's just move the paper out of the way for a minute. Oh, I don't know where I'm going to put that. Oh, I'll just have to put it back down. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? That's not true. It's on the back of that. Birdies. Birds. All right, we'll go to... I'm going to put some of this into that. Older. Now the other exciting thing about this, this mat, let's just move that out of the way for a second, is when you bring your embossing machine over, let's just get everything off there, you can sit it on there and it doesn't move. Look. It's great. I do like that. Because you know every week I've got to put that other thing on my desk to stop my thing moving. So I'm just going to put that in there. My paper. I'll just be random, I think. We'll just be random with it. You could be really defined, but I'm just going to be random. That'll do. So this is a 3D embossing folder, so you follow the instructions on your little base here and use it with number four. So you always put your hinge in first so you don't break your embossing folder. And look at that. Oh look. <laughs> it's not moving. Wonderful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. Oh, yes, I do love that. All right, do we need to cut anything else while I've got this baby up? Not sure yet. I was thinking of cutting some leaves. So maybe we should just cut some leaves while I've got this out. Let's put that up there. So I got out my dies that are the Dainty Delight dies. So in the Celebration brochure, they've got a card that is actually using this die. They've got another one with little branches, but I don't think I have that one. So I thought I might use that. I'm not sure what we're doing with it yet. <laughs> but I've got all my colours over here. Oh, actually, 
it might be glitching on that one. <gasps> will it? Will it? Oh no, it's just a bit too short. Oh, that's a shame. That was going to work then. I'll use a piece like this. I'll just cut that off though, so I'll work out. It'll fit on there, so I'll cut it off to there. Give it a line, and I'll just cut that off over here because I can't fit that there. Anymore. I just mark the spot and then trim it off. And actually, that worked out. This piece is six inches exactly. And that was a card that I had cut off to make a card. So, this one we do have measurements on our sheet, but you can't see them all in my picture. So I've done that to 5.8 centimetres wide. And we shall just put that through. Hi Dimity, welcome. Garden green. This one. Oh, <laughs> that looks nice on there, doesn't it? Oh, that's very pretty. Let's put that back in the packet. And we've just got a few odd bits left there, so we'll just put them in. The bin. Oops, all on the floor. <laughs> Wherever they land. It's all right back in the fall so that we don't have too much rubbish there okay I think that's all for the moment we need to that. and oh what color base will we go so what would we get just wondering whether to use some of those birds or we'll use some of the bigger birds I'm using this one out of the Celebration catalogue and it's called Flight and Airy and I've got some stamps out of the Celebration Heartfelt Hollows. So the, the embossing folder is layered florals, 3D embossing folder, that one. And this one is out of the Dainty Delights. Because that goes really nicely with that. So the other colour they had in here was Soft Sea Foam. This colour. I guess that would look nice, but I think I'll stick with the, the other one for now. Yeah, so I just got this out separately so that I've got all the colours written here. So I went through and I found lot of papers okay so we've got that and that I'm just thinking which birds to use on here and cut a piece of that out maybe that doesn't look too bad or will we go with that first one this one and do the round circles or we could even use no I think I'll use one of the punches for the words Let's think about that for a minute. I just lost this paper. I just want to use it all at once. <laughs> it's like that. Okay, where's my stamp? Here we go. So we've got the enjoy your day and hello. And I think I will stamp them. We've got to decide what card base we want, don't we? What colour card base do you like? So we've got, I've got the boho blue out, so I'm thinking if I do one of these birds on there, the blue would be nice under it, but let's just have a look and see what it looks like. I've got the bubble bar, so that's the blue. I'll get that dye out of there so I don't lose it. So 
looking for the base. I'm looking for something like that and maybe putting a bird on there. I'm just not sure whether to go with more birds or less birds. But I'm not sure about the blue with that, with that colour. Um, so we could do the green. Then I'm not sure about that with the no, I feel like that's too nah. <laughs> what else have we got here? Um oh you know what? Lemon lolly. I didn't get lemon lolly out. That's not in the list, is it? Or is it? Hang on, let me go back to the list. Daffodil delight. Hang on, I got that out. I don't know, I'm thinking lemon that's quite light there. I'm thinking lemon lolly. Oh, I'm just going to get my lemon lolly out. Hang on a minute. Find my lemon lolly wherever I put it. It's just that little bit light. This colour. How can we get away with that? You know, with some with some birdies on it. I'm not sure about that colour now. Oh. Hmm. Don't worry, we'll play a little. Maybe I should just stick it with the same colour. Put it on its own colour. the bird. Oh, oh, we'll just keep playing. I might just get my other punch out and do a circle. What have we got? See what that looks like in there. Not the blue. Yeah, I'm not sure. Tricky. Which bird do I want? <laughs> oh. and if that one's too big, that might be too big. Let me just find my other one. There's lots to choose from. You could always go with this one as well. With that fancy one. That's that. I can't think of what that's called. Something circle. <laughs> the something circle punch. Maybe this one. No, maybe this one's too small. Oh dear. Oh, which one have they used? Hang on. Let me get the brochure out. They used one. What have they done? Oh, they've cut the birds out and stuck them on a circle. Have they? Is that what they've done? Oh, that's clever, isn't it? Here I was in my head thinking they'd cut them out with a punch, but they've actually cut the birds out. Hmm, okay. <laughs> well, that solves that dilemma. That's what that was about. <laughs> you like the blue. Hang on, let me go back to the blue. Get rid of that for a minute. What about the yellow and the blue? and yellow but then I really wanted to use this but maybe that'll be another card you know it looks a bit funny like that doesn't it and maybe this is the wrong color see maybe that's the wrong color because if I go the blue I feel like I need to go the lost lagoon which is this color in the bird decisions decisions or we just go with some of that. Um, hang on a minute. <laughs> I've got a lot of colours here. Just to make it tricky. See, that's fresh freezer. Don't think that'll go on there. What about that on the blue? 
different and then we could do a small bit of this because we want to see this I don't know if I like that next to the lemon no I don't want the lemon in there <laughs> too many decisions I do like the blue on the blue this blue yeah, I think the yellow is not working with that. <laughs> I agree. Okay, I need to move something out of the way here. Get my paper out of there. Where's the paper gone? Right. Let's put that down there. Let's stamp some words. No, I think we'll just do that. I'm just not sure about this colour now. It seems to go with that one, but it didn't seem to go with the other one. With this one. That one's got the lagoon bit in it. I'm liking this one. Right, let's just move that off the table. And I'll get some white out. And you've got pink as well, this really lovely bubble bar. That's nice. Use this a base of white. Take a bit of that off. So we can stamp this up now. And we really want. One. So these ones, you could do these in this one as well. I'll go in that one. Look. Or in this one. So you could use them on either. So that's about that one. Actually, I might go about her blue. Where's my blue? It's over here. Oh, Misty Moonlight was the other colour that I used, but I didn't get the card out. There. I'm just looking at the colours. I'm just wondering whether it might be nice to have the sentiment in Misty Moonlight. far in do I? Up there. I think. Does that look right? No. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Hang on. It'll go in that way. So I need to be I have to go right down the end. About there. So you can see on your little grid thing too how many lines are under there. Can you see that? If I line it up, let me see. Hang on. <laughs> I gotta look in the computer. That one, two, three, four, five. You can sort of see where it sits. Got my hand out of the way. On the grid. 
sort of. We'll see how that goes, shall we? <laughs> Everything was upside down. <laughs> this gives you an idea. Now, I haven't used these yet, so hopefully this stamp's okay. All right, I think it was about, I think I needed to come down about there. So I'll try that. probably went too far down. Like that. I might do the other one in boho. Let me see which one we like the most. Ah, uh, yeah, look, see, it's gone down a bit. Maybe I'll. I don't like wasting my cardstock, that's all. I might cut this one first. See, I like to go a bit closer to the end. But when you're stamping with cling stamps, well, this one looks like it's pretty well lined up. Sometimes they're not, though, because I don't put them on straight. <laughs> when they're clear, of course, you can see straight through them. So that's good. I think this will work. So that's the boho blue. I actually think I like the darker one. Which one do you like? The boho or the misty? Well, I think I'll just cut this piece down a bit and have it just in the middle there. Because the other thing we could have done is turn it sideways and do it that way. But this thing, well, I guess you could do that with that and have the flowers going up like that. I'm doing a panel in the middle more. Mm, no, maybe not. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to turn this one down. So this one is 10. I think I'll go to 8 on this one. I want to keep. Which mm. bit will I do? I quite like those three little birds there. You know what we could do? Just have a thought. I could do that. I can get the three in there. Look. And do them both the same. Oh, I do that. Oh, I did it. Cause then we can see more of the background. Oh, look at this little fella. He's all by himself. I wonder if I should cut another one. Have another one at the top. Oh, I don't know. I could get those two in. Oh, 
Oh, why not? We'll give it a go. Will we punch happy? Cute. Enjoy your day. And we could put this one down here. Although that covers up the flowers then. That's cute. And stick it on a base. What will we do it on? Colour? Okay, we'll just cut a couple of base colours. And see what we think. I think I'll just go with the one base. I'll try the blue. So just do that half A4. And I'll just check my messages so I'm not missing anybody and then just do the fold at ten and a half let's see what that looks like I do like that colour Okay, what do you all think? Do you like it like that? I could pop that up a little bit higher on some dimensionals. Do we need more greenery things under it? More of these? Like, what else have we got? Uh, there's a couple of flowers. There's a little flower there. There's little flowers in here. I just wonder whether to do a little flower. Maybe we could do that in that colour. No, it might be too bright. <laughs> no, it might be too much. Maybe the pink. Got any scraps of bubble bath? Oh. Just have a look in another packet because I think I have. Uh, what are you saying? Vellum. Yeah, that's the other thought. I've still got my first pack that I got of the paper, the big packet like this. So I've got a few bits and pieces. Yeah. Not much. Mm. I've got some of that colour too, but I think that'd be too much. Here's a bit of bubble bath. Stick that over there. Here, there's this flower. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that one. Maybe we could cut some vellum out of both of those. I'm not sure if that'd be too much. I think it's too much with it. Alright, let me find my vellum under the tea. And keep it under the desk. So it's handy. I love that one. Got all my scrappy little bits underneath. I'm ready for such an occasion. Let's try one of these. Oh, will that fit? Oh, look at that. Oh yes, it will. 
and we can put the flower there. We might get another flower there. Right. So we'll just put that over here for a second. And get a little mini. Don't forget, you can always colour your vellum in as well with some blends. I'm going to put that one up as far as I can. that nice and firmly so that they don't move because you've got them on top of each other. Done that once. <laughs> because I didn't hold on to it properly. Check for your ears if you've got any pods in. Pop. Oh, it wasn't too bad. It's in the vellum there. In the thing over there. So I often just... Oh, be careful on the glass but I just throw it down usually on my thing and it comes off well oh, comes off quite easily don't throw it too hard and if you don't want to throw it use your little take your pick tool there's a flower all right let's do another one I wonder if we can get three out of that Let's try. Let's just use that one. I'll get three. Oh, I might. Go up as far as I can into that one. Yeah, I think that will do it actually. The vellum really softens it. Thank you. One more. Because we can. that back in the vellum box because you never know when you need a tiny piece of vellum. I'll get them off after. Often they're not coming off really easy. So sometimes I do it this way. Use the edge of the mat and get them off there. There we go. easy all right let's see how we feel enjoy your day and put that under there and put that one under there and we'll pop that up on dimensionals and we'll move this one over. Have I covered too much of that background? I hope not. Can't see the big flower. You can see this one. We'll put some flowers on. 
いいでしょう We put two together up there. Oh yeah. What do you think? And we'll get some bling. Let's get some bling. We do love these. The iridescent rhinestone basic tools. I've got to say. I love them. <laughs> these are all new ones. Um that one's the one with the the balloons. What's that in the flower? Hot air balloons that it goes with. See that's even got this colour here. It doesn't say the colours on there. But that would go really nicely with that look. Another card? Not on this card. I don't think I like that. I think I like these. These ones are out of the lavender one. I don't have a lot of other bling yet of the new bling. And these ones are a bit too... No, I don't think they go with it. I think we'll go with the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. What do you think? Are you happy with that? Do we need any ribbon as well like underneath the enjoy your day? Let me find the ribbon box. I'm not sure if we need something. We've got this one. It's shiny. This is that gold faux leather one. Might be too much. What else is in my little box? That's still current. I love you a lot going on anyway with that yellow one. The only yeah, other one I would do is a, a whitish one. I can't find my other ribbon box. What have I done with it? Um, One is boho blue. What's it called? Textured ribbon. Boho blue. Can we still buy that? That's a good question, isn't it? So you just go into your search thing eh? and go boho. Boho blue textured ribbon. Yes, you could still buy that. I think I like it with the ribbon. What do you think? With the ribbon? Without the ribbon? I like the ribbon because it sort of breaks it up a little bit. And then I'll put the little flowers there. Okay, have a think about that for a minute. How do you like the ribbon? Just think it brings the blue together. Yep, you like the ribbon? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I do like to have the team around and then we'll throw them on afterwards. Okay, let's see if we can put all this back together. <laughs> Here we go. Did you take a photo? No, it's okay. I think I'll be right. That one at the top, this one at the bottom. Right. Glue, please, everyone. Now I've got to remember. Ah, oh, hang on a minute. I should put the ribbon on. Shouldn't she? Let's assemble the front first. Because I'll want to put that ribbon around the back. You don't have to. You can have it sort of sitting out. I'm just going to put these ones on with... Combo. So let's just work out where they go. So again, this is where your mat can come in handy or your grid paper. So you can work off some grids on you. Just I try and look at one and go between something. So that I've got about the same. What have I got? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Roughly there, I think. And that way, the centre line is here. So you know where your centre is. 
I tend to just look at the card a lot and just do it by eye but if you don't want to do that you could use your grid I've got to hold that on a bit because of all the texture underneath Take a bit more to stick it on. I'm not sticking that one down yet. Just put a bit of glue on the bottom so it, it's got lots to play with. Don't stick this edge down yet because we want to stick that in. I think I'll put the green one in first. No, I had the vellum over the top before, didn't I? Maybe I should have it under it. And then the vellum flowers, yep. Just glue a little bit on. Don't want too much glue on it. That one out of the way. tissue. Get the extra glue off. I want to hang up a bit. The tissue stuck on me now. <laughs> That's the fun of it, isn't it? Getting all gluey. Of course, if you wanted this all stuck down, you could use your adhesive sheets to cut it out in the first place, but I want some of it sticking up. That bit under there. That up again. And layer it down. Right. So once you know what you're doing, this card would not take very long to put together. <laughs> once you've worked it out. <laughs> but I never work it out before I start on Wednesday nights. I like to play with it all. I just wondering whether to stick that under those leaves. I think I had it over the top, didn't I? Oh. You think? I think I like it under it. But that has to go. And I've got to put my ribbon on first, Fiona. Fiona, put the ribbon on. <laughs> I say that because I often forget. Okay, so that will go. We'll just put it in the middle, really. I'm actually going to position that first. Where is my tear and tape? Let's get a little piece. Put that in the middle. Look like it's in the middle. I think it's in the middle. Oh, is my take your pick tool. Oh, what have I done with it? There it is. I see it. <laughs> I've got a new thing to hold it in. So when I pull it out, the lid stays in the in the thing, which is fantastic because then I can always find the lid. It holds it nice and tight. So I take it off and I can't find it. 
Right, so I'm putting that on first. The front like that. Alright, so what we need to do now is use our grid. Let me look on the thing. I've got that up in that line. Let me stand up. Okay, I put that on that line up there. I want that there. So that'll be there. Oops. Whoops, she moved it. And then I make this, see how this is like that there? I make this one the same over this side. Yeah, I think that'll work right. Push that down. And then we can put that on the back. Oh, this is lovely doing this, isn't it? We'll enjoy it once we get going. I really find it relaxing. Gets you out of your heads. Out of your head if your head's in a funny place. Or even if it's not. <laughs> it gets you. I just really like it. Because I just get absorbed in it. Okay, where are we? Uh -uh. I just want to make sure... I've got this in the same spot all the way across. I think it's right there. What if we do that side? Do the same on this side. I think that's okay. Let's have a look. Get it sideways. Of course, you can check it on your. So how many down are we? Let's go over to the measurement on the side. We're on the 21, and we're down to 14. Point, oh, look, you can get right on top of that. 14.3. Yay! And then that's going to pop up up there. This is going on here. Just push that ribbon down. Now, just wondering whether to... I actually might use tear and tape on this because it's all embossed. I think it will work better. Just playing over here with some lovely products. Are you crafting with us or are you just watching? Right, I'm gonna use my scissors this time. Make that a nice neat cut. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not, it's stuck to my card before it was supposed to. There we go. Okay. Oh, you've just finished dinner. Lovely. Well, I had chicken wings. I like to have chicken wings on Wednesday because I'm winging it. <laughs> that just sort of worked out okay, didn't it? Quite by accident that happened. opposite corners just like that and then 
I come off tonight. Oh. Yeah, we've got one off over here already. Let's push it down hard and then, well not too hard, you don't want to damage the other side. But just so that it holds. If you're having trouble getting the backing off. Right, and then we position it by using the bits you've already got off. So you can actually hold these corners down to position it, which I really like doing. I think that's right. Let me stand up and have a look. So I do have to stand up sometimes to do this, just to get a good visual of it. Don't you think you've got it right? Push those other corners down. There you go. And then you just pull out your tape backing. It's just so much easier <laughs> than going, ah, I've got it all wrong. Happy. Oh, it's a little bit off there. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> oh, you just ordered it. Dude. It's really pretty. I just, I was just saying earlier, for anyone that missed it, I was having a bit of a, you know, one of those days where I just couldn't get motivated. <laughs> I did go out for lunch. <laughs> that was nice. And I just relaxed and had a lovely relaxing day. So I did relax, which I needed that. But it was like, what am I going to do now, tonight? I was like, oh, I don't know. And I thought, you know, this paper is just so pretty. It will just uplift me. And it did. And it helps that I have some lovely people helping me along the way. Right, I'm just putting those on dimensionals. Now, I didn't put it down the middle so that my ribbon's in the middle of it. This one's a little bit over, but I think it'll be right. Yes, I feel all inspired now. Yeah, I'm going to try and get that one centered at top and bottom and width. So I'm just looking at it. But and the word sort of sits on the ribbon, doesn't it? Or does it? Because even if I didn't know. Now the word's not, the enjoy's not in the centre of the piece. So don't be fooled by that. <laughs> I'm looking at the overall oval. I think it's about there. I think that's right. that down oh, that was so pretty so yeah some of this you know I did get the idea of this piece here out of the celebration brochure but you know use the brochures use the com the catalogs because they're there for you for inspiration and that way you don't have to think of everything yourself so we'll just get some blue dots I think that's one another thing I really like about it. You can you can do that. You can think of everything yourself and just use the tools and these stuff, but you don't have to. You just mix it all up. <laughs> the glue dot won't come off. Ah! Okay. Put him on top of that. Another one. So that fits really nicely, that flower, onto a mini glue dot. Where do I put that one? Oh, maybe I had them side by side before. Did I? Mm. <laughs> uh oh, did I have them off the page before? Oh, I don't like it now. Must have been there. I think I had that one further over. Oh no. She's put it in the wrong spot. Don't panic. We'll cover it up anyway. I'll move it one way or the other. That way will do. And we'll put 
this one a bit further down. Ah, you'll have to play with it now. Okay, we can see our word enjoy through the flowers. We'll only do one card tonight because it's already 9.46. <laughs> but I did show you some other things at the beginning. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. These are just gorgeous. Iridescent. Let me just double check that for you. I'm pretty sure these are still there and carrying over. Oh, now you've got to put more words in, hey? Iridescent. I-R-I-D-E-S-C-E-N-T. Iridescent. What are we called? Rhinestone. Yes. Uh, it says low inventory at the moment, so if you want some of these, you better grab them. I should have grabbed some more. I didn't. They look so pretty with this. Look. Okay, where are we going to bling? <laughs> the bling challenge. So pretty. I don't know. Hmm, let's go a little one first. I think you could put in the O. Oh, enjoy. Look at that. I'm going to put in there. <laughs> I'm going to put one in the O. There we go. Oh, just not sure where I want them. Wherever they land. How's that? Oh, you've been sorting out the craft room more. Oh, <laughs> good on you, Athena. Yes, we're doing a bit of that. Mm -hmm. oh, something, maybe I'll stick it on there. What do you think? Is that alright or do we need two more? Two more blingies. Somewhere down here. I'm just thinking maybe little ones. Did that work out a medium one? Oh yes it did. I like it when they have three sizes of the bling. What if I go there and there? There and there. What about that? How's that? Let's pack it. Get everything out the way, yeah. Now one thing I need to remember to do when I'm doing these is I pick up lots of white cardstock. <laughs> I've got so much cardstock over here. I had an extra piece of white on the floor sitting around my desk. Here it is. I'm going to put my middle in while we're thinking about it. Which way do I want to go? That way. Just cut it over here. Oh, thank you, girls. I love how it turned out too, and I, it's just always surprising, isn't it? You should have seen how we started, Mandy. <laughs> Some of the colour combinations going on <laughs> was a bit much, <laughs> but it all turned out. <laughs> mm. Cut that to the right size. Yep. I'm going to get into the habit of putting the innards into my cards as I make them because then I don't have to go back and do it later. Oh, and there goes Fiona with a trimmer. I forgot to change the blade again, sorry. I'll just use one of these. That fixes it for me. Okay. Just remember before you push that down you can glide it across a little bit. Get it straight. 
see I've got a little rough edge there too Oops. let's go like that and go like that get rid of those extra little bits make sure your ink pads are closed properly that one wasn't right and then I always stamp the back of my cards because I do sell my cards or give them away and either way I, <laughs> I want people to know that I made them handmade and I'm going to use the same color as the card so I've got my bifey handcrafts stamp and then I've got the Stampin' Up one so if you sell cards with your Stampin' Up products you need to get the stamp they always have a stamp set that has the Stampin' Up logo, um, copyright on it There's this one in there I can tell you what that is if you have a look in a second hang on so there's my where did I stick my catalog just let that dry for a second in the back I've marked it in here yes you stamped with love page 117 so my one is from an older one but this one has a bigger one so it's a little bit bigger this is really tiny the bigger ones a bit easier to stamp too so I've got a couple of them because I have some set up on other things but this is a great set for that your little post box your little stamping up you can put that on the back of the envelope and write who it's from on it really cute so just keep that in mind if you're selling your cards Alrighty we go and if you wanted to you could stamp something inside you know the set that goes with this uh, what was this called the dainty delights I haven't got the stamp set handy it's over the other side of the room but there'd be something in that now let's just have a look at that if you wanted to stamp inside your card dainty 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 delights page 22 in your annual catalog So this is the one that, that matches dainty delight so you could stamp one of these inside your card if you want to and that goes really nicely with these little flowers look that one there actually maybe I'll just grab it hey ah, hang on a second can't be too far away here it is I was keeping it in the cupboard, that box, but I decided it was better on the table over there. See, I've got all these out already. This one. That one would be nice inside, wouldn't it? So that one's $44. So, and you can buy the dice separately as well. It says it coordinates with them. 163. Let's have a look at that. Ones here they are, Dainty Delights, they're $63. So if you bought both of them together, you could get the paper for free. Let's just try that. Got all my blocks, oh, no, that one's not wide enough. So yes, I probably would do this before I put it in the card normally. We might just stamp a little bit. I'm going to go that way or that way. I think I'll go there, like that. And ooh, I think we might do the pale. What do you think? The green? I'm wondering whether to even go soft sea foam and keep it really soft. Let's have a look on paper first. Pocket over there. Got a bit of paper. Let's just see what the soft sea foam's like. It's really soft. The other option is to do the. Yeah, what have I got over here? Lost Lagoon.
I'm not cleaning the stamp first because that's a darker green, the next one. Yeah, sort of. I, I'm thinking the soft sea foam. And I will clean the stamp now. <laughs> Although we could go second generation, couldn't we? Oh. Which colour is better? The soft sea foam. That's this one. Or the second gen. On the Lost Lagoon. Oh. Probably hard for you to tell because you're not looking at it like I am. Um, no, I think I'll do the soft sea foam. Okay, I'll clean that stamp off. Cover that other one up. I'll just keep that bit of paper under there. Although, if, if you get it on the glass mat, you can just wipe it straight off with your chamois. There we go. I've just got a little touch of the leaves and flowers on the inside. We're done. Woohoo! That was fun. So thanks for and coming up in my repertoire, <laughs> trying to get back into everything. This has helped me a lot. Getting back into it tonight has been really good fun. It's always good fun once you get going. And classes. Um, I'm working on, where is it gone, some turtle stuff for my online class. Now I've brought that forward to the 21st because I'll be away the long weekend when it's the um, Australia Day weekend. So I've actually got that class, if you want to book that, what's today, the 10th, uh, the 11th is my cutoff date for that. That's an online class and for that one you just need, well when I say you need, just the sea, it's based around the sea turtles, but you can use any stamp set, but it'll, you know, to do the same as what I'm doing, it would be the sea turtle stamp set. And if you're just doing the class like that, you need all your own inks and adhesives and all that. Um, so I do need to know tomorrow if you want to join in with that, if you need a kit, a prepared kit, and I'll be doing that this week. So to make sure I can get that out on the weekend. After that, what have I got booked in my calendar? I've got um, a one-day retreat day in my calendar for the... Let's think what day it is. Oh, I've got to test my brain. <laughs> Hang on. I'll just go to the calendar and have a look. All these things are in my diary, my Stampin' Up.net page. You can go to the events there and click on that. It's Saturday the 10th of February. I'm doing another retreat day, which is a full day. So if you're interested in doing that, that's an in-person event. And it, I haven't finished my... <laughs> I'm planning to finish that this week too. Um, I haven't planned what I'm doing that day yet. At, totally, I've got a not fair idea, but which sets we're using. And I usually offer a choice of a couple of different stamp sets. So that that's part of the price, is you get a stamp set in it. So that if you do already have it, you can you know, get, get a different one. So... I plan to get all my paperwork out about that this week. Okie dokie. And yeah, that's about it. So don't forget it's celebration time. So fun doing that. And getting into your new catalogue. And if anyone wants a new catalogue, please ask for one. If you get catalogues from me already and you've got any questions, um, just holler. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh, hi, Wendy. Oh, you'd love to book Dimity. Oh, wow, lovely. Well, that'll be nice to have your sister there. Oh, there's Amanda. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> You're not too late. There it is. I'm not doing another one. <laughs> One's enough tonight, I think. Um, yeah, that's my little card. So we got inspired from the celebration. And I just love this paper. It's so gorgeous. So this paper 
here is the back of this one. So we've just flipped it over and we've used this beautiful new embossing folder for layered florals which I just got today. That's gorgeous. It's turned out well and now while I'm sitting here talking to you and looking at it you know I think I should have put the bling in these flowers. <laughs> is it too late? <laughs> I think maybe they should have had bling in them for the centers. Yeah it might be too much now. Might need a different color. What do you think? They're meant to be just subtle. Maybe if you did another one you could put, if someone else makes one let me know, show me if you put the bling in the flowers. I do like it, it feels really lovely. Very happy with that. So thank you all for joining me. I'm off now and I'll see you all next week. Ciao.